hello students today we talk on the animal secondary growth in a radish that is ravenous sativus so in the primary structure of radish uh, this is the figure of primary structure of radish in transfer section the outer layer is the epiplema then below epiplema there is the hypodermis layer then at the center there is the uh, xylem is alternate with the phloem and the xylem is in triangular shape and uh, phloem is on oval shape and is all over the central part is covered with the ground tissues so this is the primary structure of radish in animal secondary growth what type of uh, uh, adaptations or modifications are formed uh, that will be seen in this um, slides so in first uh, in the animal secondary growth there the fascicular cambium a ring is developed that is all in the xylem region or all xylem around the xylem there is the fascicular cambium ring is developed then in this uh, uh, growth there is the addition of second xylem and second phloem are uh, takes place along with the accessory cambium then, so this in this the, there is the development of accessory cambium is happen so this is the figure in this figure we have to clearly seen that there is the cambium and the inner side there is the secondary xylem and outer side there is the secondary phloem after the secondary phloem there is the vessels and parenchyma cells are formed due to the these accessory cambium this accessory cambium is developed and at the inner side there is the um, formation of xylem cells and xylem parenchyma takes place and the outer side there is the secondary phloem is takes place so these are the modifications or adaptations are observed in the case of uh, radish that is accessory cambium is developed and there is the formation of vessels uh, xylem cells secondary phloem and takes place and they will be helpful in the uh, storing or the storage tissues are developed so this is the transfer section of root of raphanus sativus so in this uh, in this slide we have to clearly see that there is the this is the cambium this cambium is differentiated and at the inner side they develop second is helium and outer side is the second is flame is there. then these after the second is helium there is the region in that region there is the anomalous cambium is developed and in the anomalous cambium there is the that cells are working as a storage region jo bhi anomalous uh, कैम भी और एसेसरी कैम भी होने की वजह से यहाँ पे स्टोरेज टिश्यू डेवलप हो रहे हैं और स्टोरेज टिश्यू अगेन दे आर हेल्पफुल इन द स्टोरेज ऑफ द मटेरियल सो एट द बिगिनिंग द सेकेंड ही ग्रोथ इज नॉर्मल विथ नॉर्मल कैम्बियम रिंग इट प्रोड्यूसेस सेकेंड इज हेलम ऑन इनर साइड एंड इट इज फॉर शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन जैसे हमने प्रीवियस वीडियो में देखा है जो भी कैम्बियम रिंग डेवलप होते दिस कैम्बियम रिंग इज अगेन प्रोड्यूसेस द सेकेंडरी झाइलम एट इनर साइड्स एंड फ्लोएम एंड द आउटर साइड्स बट इन केस ऑफ रेफेनेस इट इज वेरी शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन आफ्टर सीजेशन वॉट्स हैपन द एक्टिविटी ऑफ वर्स्कुलर कैम्बियम टेक्स प्लेस देन नंबर ऑफ एसेसरी कैम्बियम रिंग्स आर फॉर्म दीज एसेसरी कैम्बिया डेवलप्स फ्रॉम पेरीसाइकल एंड फ्लोएम तो इन केस ऑफ रेफेनस वट हेपन यहाँ पे देर इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एसेसरी कैम्बियम डेवलप होता है देन दिस एसेसरी दिस एसेसरी कैम्बियम और कैम्बियम मोस्टली डेवलप्स फ्रॉम द पेरीसाइकल जो आउटर लेयर रहता है 
from this pericycle, these accessories cambium and chloem are developed. But in all accessories, cambium rings active simultaneously and each cambium adds more amount of xylem parenchyma and few vessels on inner sides while less flowing on outer side. Just like we have previous video, we have seen that the cambium ring development is that means vascular development. That means they add more amount of xylem parenchyma and vessels on inner sides and the as compared to less amount of flowing on the outer side. So these are the activity of accessory cambium. Then what happens? The xylem parenchyma act as a act as an storage tissue. जो xylem parenchyma है जो inner sides में present है वो storage tissues का काम करती है. Then later the cells surrounding the xylem vessels proliferate, forming cambium strips around them. जो वेसल्स है जो झाइलम वेसल्स है झाइलम वेसल्स क्या करते हैं कैम्बियम स्ट्रिप्स वहाँ पे फॉर्म करते हैं जो झाइलम पैरेंट का एम है वो स्टोरेज टिश्यूज का काम करते हैं और जो झाइलम वेसल्स है वो कैम्बियम स्ट्रिप्स उसके साइड में कैम्बियम स्ट्रिप्स बनाते हैं दे दिस कैम्बियम स्ट्रिप्स गिव्स राइज तो सेकेंडरी consisting of more storage of parent chyma. So, this is the minus type. This cambium strips develop the secondary vascular tissue consisting more storage of parent chyma. So, in this way, the abnormality is the positional and behavior of cambium. The abnormal secondary growth is adaptive type because it is in response to the need of storage of food material. तो यहाँ पे जो भी anomalous और adaptations हो रहे हैं, this is all due to the और there is the need in the storage of food materials. That's why they develop the storage tissues and the storage tissues development it is happening due to the some abnormalities in position and behavior of cambium. So, uh, in this way, this type of modifications are observed in the RFMS. So, in the anomalous secondary growth, in the previous video, I talked on this uh, bit and in radish, there is the, some adaptive types of modifications are observed due to the need of the storage tissue. So lastly I conclude that in the in the primary structure of radish, xylem phloems are they are oppositely arranged. But in the anomalous growth, these xylems are surrounding the xylems vesicular cambium ring is developed and then in the cambium ring there is the accessory cambium is developed and these accessory cambiums do the activity of addition of uh, secondary xylem on inner sides and phloem on outer sides. Then uh, after some time these accessory cambiums are developed xylem vessels and xylem parenchyma and secondary phloem on the outer side. This xylem parenchyma is work as a storage tissue and the xylem vessels is formed the cambium strips. So, in this way, the, the adaptive type of modifications are observed in case of refinements. So, this is all about this radish anomalous secondary growth. Today, I will stop here.